Connell Dermody, uh, like you all, I don't know what year I finished, but I, I didn't finish my leaving cert in Garbley. And uh, I went home on farming and took up auctioneering. Went, first I went uh, with Chu Mart and I became a uh, uh, commission member of the Mart when I was just very young and uh, then I became chairman of that Mart. At about 19 I became chairman of the Chu Mart at the time and uh, one of the auctioneers felt sick and I took up the position for, on the day and then I was appointed an auctioneer with the Mart. And I worked in Chum and Banderslow a lot great and I am Cliff are in Mam Cross, I went to Mam Cross and I started a mark there with the Kyo's in Mam Cross. I married a girl, Carmel Kyo, and she was from Tai Quinn, and actually all the Kyo's went to Garbally. And her brothers were all in Garbally. Where were they from? From Tai Quinn. Where's that? Pat Kyo, it's near Athen Rai. Okay, right, yeah. Athen Rai. And uh, I'm still auctioneering, and my son has taken over the farming side of the business and he's looking after that and I have another son auctioneering with me. I had five sons all together. I lost one son when he was 19 with cancer and um, as I said I have another and I have another son in the business with me in the auctioneering business and one my, my, my eldest son is teaching in the local school mm -hmm. and um, I have another son in America married to an American girl and uh, we visit him there in January over in Florida and um, see now. Did you get involved in sport in Garbley? Yes, I did, yes. I used to play rugby with, uh, in Garbley mm -hmm. and only played rugby, a little bit of football in Garbley. You were well. a big man then? I was. And you're always I a big fought. man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were bigger than the rest but of them anyway. I made, I made plenty of big ones in my time. I'm, I'm sure played, you. Played with Galwegians, started playing with Galwegians when I was quite young mm -hmm. and I think I won my first senior cup at 19. Galwegians. I played minor and senior in the one year with Galwegians. And how many cups did and you win altogether? I won about uh, four or five cups yeah. with Galwegians and then I retired at about 27 or 28 and they started up a club in uh, Chum, rugby club and they asked me to join so I joined there and I played for another four or five years with Chum and I captained that team for a year or two. And that was really my history in the rugby, and um, I got a cap for Connacht to my time, and yeah. basically it. You had a good run at it. I had a good run at it. I must say I had. Yeah. yeah. Even the first, the first, the first man I propped against in, in Ulster was Sid Miller, and uh, I must say he beat me too. <laughs> 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 so he did. <laughs> Go on. And, uh, <laughs> Bill McBride was playing the same day as well. Both of them played for Ballymena as well. I met them on numerous mm. occasions because we used to play Ballymena and Dungana, were the main clubs that time in the north. We used to play with the Weegians mm. and we used to play all the other clubs back then. So we had a great team in all Weegians at the time. We had a number of internationals. We had three internationals Tony O'Sullivan, Johnny Dooley, Brendan Gearn. So we had, and uh, oh, they had a great team then, didn't they? They had a great team. Always was mm -hmm. the team that time. And Tony wonderful. Sullivan was a great player, wasn't he? Tony Sullivan was a wonderful player. Yes. Wonderful player, yeah. yeah. And Johnny Dooley was a very, very good mm -hmm. centre. Yeah, very good centre. Yeah. Um, what did you think of Garbley anyway? Garbley, I enjoyed every day in Garbley. Yeah, I did a lot of farming in Garbley. I had more interest in farming than the books. You so Christy Glynn knew that, and he used to have me farming a lot there. Was he in charge of the farm? Was he? He was in charge of the farm yeah. at the time. Yes. So he brought you down? And he brought me down to the farmyard very often. And he taught you rugby? <laughs> he taught me my rugby. He was good at it? He was very good at it. Really good he at was it. really good at the rugby, yes. Very, very good. Nice guy, yeah. Yeah. And Tell Father this. Isle was also mm. good, good at the rugby. Yeah. So you were around for the Celtic years of the auctioneering business? Well, I was, yeah, yeah, I, I was, yeah. But uh, we, uh, I suppose we were, my son, my son wasn't involved with me that, at that time, you mm. know, and I was more concentrate on the marts rather than the property, even though I used to do certain amount of property as well. But I never made the big kill on the property. Right. Mm -hmm. Would you sell a cow to myself and Stanley, Sam Stanley now the way you do it at the auction? I could. Give, give, us, give us a lingo. Go 
Uh, well, what am I bit here? Is, uh, the first countering here, and she's about 40, 50, 55, 60 pounds, 60, 70, 80, and Stan. Stan is the new purchaser of the cow. <laughs> <laughs> well, they hard to deal with. Big your pardon? Yeah, well, well, they hard to deal with. You got them good prices, yeah? Oh, yeah, got good prices, yeah. Well, so we're into the ring by Jesus, yes, and Connell said, give them a week, and he boost them up. <laughs> you might have a Polly there that was a bit, little bit of white, and he'd say she was a Belgian blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was able, the Belgian blue. He was, was able to decorate them, was he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, was I a better it. seller. The Belgian blue was a better seller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay.